After nearly a century in business, Hannafin's Cigar Store in downtown Boise is closing and selling. The Hannafin's building is filled with history that goes back nearly to the beginnings of the city. And today, our Misty Inglet did a deep dive on its rich 100-year history. She joins us with what she found. Misty? Well, Mark, the building that Hannafin's occupies, as well as about 10 other buildings on Main Street, are part of the National Register of Historic Places. But that's not stopping the iconic shop from going out of business. It's a staple. Stan Minder has owned Hannafin's for 11 years, but Hannafin's has been a name in Boise a lot longer than that. Originally known as the Beckwith Building, Hannafin sits on the northeast corner of 11th and Main. I think it's definitely, if not the oldest legacy business in Boise, it's certainly one of the very oldest. The building was constructed in 1898 and was originally a multi-store front, including a hardware store, grocery store, and clothing shop. In 1908, the building became a cigar shop, but not Hannafin's. But it was originally the Salmon Cigar Store, um, named for its owner, Edmund Salmon. Where John Hannafin was employed. In 1921, Salmon went back to his home country of France and turned operations over to Hannafin. Salmon died in Paris in 1922 and, uh, and Hannafin sort of assumed ownership and control, at which point it became Hannafin's cigar store. Besides cigars, Hannafin's was also known for selling a variety of things like papers, comic books, and... It did have the great thing of magazines of all types from racing forms at the track to every magazine that you could think about getting. And uh, then it's got the nudity magazines. And a store that's been around for more than a century equals millions of stories. And I've heard stories from Brad Little selling papers out of here out in front of this place, people running shoe sign places out of here. There's even rumors these old tunnels underneath the store were used during Prohibition, though the Historical Society could not confirm that. It's just a great building. I mean, so many people have been through it from all over. I mean, Neil Young, since I've had it, has been through here. I met the Soup Nazi from Seinfeld. Another infamous man to step foot in Hannafin's in the 50s was Raymond Snowden, known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper. Historical books claim Snowden went into Hannafin's to use the restroom the night he murdered a woman named Cora Dean, and the murder weapon was found in the gutter outside Hannafin's. The store also still has a lot of its original 1900 artwork, as well as the original flooring, paint, cabinets, magazine racks, and wood stove. Idaho State Historic Preservation Office says that's what makes Hannafin so unique. We do actually see a fair amount of buildings that, um, that look on the outside as they did when they were built. Um, that's not terribly uncommon. What's uncommon is to see a building's interior um, not go through massive changes over the decades. So with a legacy like Hannafin's, why sell? Stan says he has to. My number one thing is getting my health back up and straighten out. But he hopes someone will buy the business and continue Hannafin's legacy. And I just managed the place. The people have owned Hannafin since day one. It was here way before I got here. And it's hard for him to close up shop. A lot of tears in my eyes just because no place has ever treated me like family, like Boise. And I've loved it since the day that I moved out here. Now Stan doesn't own the building. That's owned by an out of state company. Stan says the antiques and all of the Hannafin's merchandise he's going to keep in storage in the hopes that someone will buy it and continue the Hannafin's name. He says he does not want to sell off pieces. He wants to keep it all together. Hopefully someone can take it all at once. Really Mark. admirable, Misty, but this is on the National Register of Historic Places. Does that offer any protection for the building to preserve what is there? It doesn't, so those protections have to come at a local level, and even though the city of Boise has historic districts, Hannafin's does not fall into any of those districts, so there are no city or local protections on it either, so the building could stay as it is, it could be renovated, it could even be demolished, it's up to the owner. All right, as we like to say, stay tuned. Misty, thanks.